So there is a local shop that I just keep going back to for DIY inspiration, Windmill Vintage Designs. The owner, Melanie, showed me a new paint technique that is not only affordable, but can transform an old piece of furniture you might already have in your home, and you really can't mess it up. back at Windmill Vintage Designs in Northeast Albuquerque, where you can get incredible vintage finds hand-selected by owner Melanie Chiotto. Some of them are already fixed up by her, or you can do your own transformation, even on something you already own, by using one of her many techniques. I'm so excited to be back. Hi. What are we doing today? Today we're going to do some blending on this piece, and hopefully apply some transfers to it. Okay. Cool, let's yeah. get started. You ready? Okay. We're using three colors of the clay-based chalk paints that Melanie sells in her shop. The beauty of these is you don't have to sand or prime the furniture before painting. So we're gonna start with our middle color. This is called mint chip. The mint chip is our base coat and it goes all over the whole piece. Yes. Instant gratification. And don't you love that it has no smell? Yeah, it's, it smells like Play-Doh, honestly. <laughs> All right, you ready to start blending? Yes, what's next? So this color is a nice deep bohemian blue, so Ooh, it's almost like, navy. It's like, a, like a navy, but it has a slight bit of teal in it. The magic ingredient here, just water, but it does need to be a fine mist in a spray bottle. You want it, we're gonna do shading around the sides and we're going to lighten this in the middle, so um, we're gonna kind of focus on the edges of each drawer. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna give it a little mist, not a lot, and you can see, you can barely see it. So we're gonna take our brush and we're gonna start blending this out. So whenever you feel like your paint is drying or dragging, you want to give it a little squirt and it'll start to make the paint move again. The dark blue goes around the edges, letting it get lighter towards the middle. Blend the paint in all directions and then... And if we go back with a very gentle hand, it will work those out for us. That is beautiful. All right, you ready, girl? Is it my turn? It's your turn. Okay. <laughs> All right, so just a light tap mm -hmm. on the blue. Spray the water first, then put the paint on. Oh man, that's so scary at first. It's so dark. <laughs> huh, how cute! Are you freaking out? That's so cute. Melanie says let the paint fully dry, then add a top coat to seal and protect it. So this is called Big Top, and this is our top coat that we're gonna use. If the paint isn't fully dry, this will take it off, so make sure it's dry and you have a nice clean brush. Now for the finishing touch. So these are really fun transfers that we have, that we sell here. They're made by Iron Orchid Designs, and you can just do so much. I'm obsessed with those. She cut out each flower and some of the stems so the flowers aren't just floating. The way these work, you take off, now that we have them all cut, so it's just like this. Okay. And we're going to place it. You don't even need a, and you, like, yeah. water or anything, no, right? No, just take your apple <gasps> stick. Oh my gosh, it's magic. And start rubbing. That's amazing. Aren't they fun? This is so cool. Oh, I love this. Looks like it was hand painted on there. I know. Shh, that's what we'll say. Exactly. Melanie finished up by applying more flower transfers and look how beautiful it turned out. What a transformation. We were saying how it would look good in a nursery, right? A little girl's nursery. And then take a look at this. Last month I had asked viewers to send me pictures and videos of their DIY projects. Kelsey Palmer sent me this. You would never guess that her little book nook chair that she created used to be a nightstand. Oh, how cool. So she says her daughter, also Steve, jumps around in excitement every Friday when she sees the doggies on TV. Well, that is sweet. Yeah, that so sweet. good morning to Kelsey and thanks for sending that in. You know yeah. what, and if you ever need to go out and get a real job, I, I think you've got your, your thing <laughs> nailed there. I told her, I said yeah. she needs to go out on her own yeah. and she needs to have this franchise where she sells it to HGTV <laughs> yeah, or something. Yeah, right. I uh, love it.